Hey everybody, video here for you today. Now I found this site when I was doing my last ancient history news video, and I thought this was so interesting. I would do an individual video on this place. We're going down to Ireland today. This is called the Cage of Fields down here. Here's the Cage of Fields overlooking it. There is a visitor center down here. We will go take a look around. But what is the importance of this site? Well, it's the most extensive Stone Age monument in the world as far as area, right down here in Ireland. Here's a look at the Cage of Fields from overhead. And there was a family living near here, a family of teachers. They were really curious. And if it wasn't for them and their work, their independent work, this place would have never been discovered. And a place you can go visit today never would have been formed. Here is a look at all these stone walls just underneath the bog, so that gave them a great clue that this was very ancient. It laid underneath the bog that was covering this hilltop, but there was walls that went for almost a mile in some places, and it seems that they were fencing off areas. And farmers were living up here almost 6,000 years ago, but some pretty cool Neolithic tombs, circular enclosures covered this hilltop. They were uncovered by a family, very curious family, a teacher is living up here. A father in the 1930s first noted it, and then his son carried on the work. And finally, in the late 70s or early 80s, they started really uncovering and mapping the site. Here's a general look at the landscape. A lot of these ruins still lay under the bog today, but they have them mapped out, all these walls and terraces and circular enclosures. They did this by basically a non-intrusive method of just poking long poles into the ground and they could feel down where these walls were and they got them mapped out pretty extensively, but I guess the mapping went on for a long, long time, for years. I will leave a few websites below. Here is one, the Sacred Island. It says a large circular enclosure at Cage of Fields in County Mayo. This structure is suggested to have been used as a pen for cows with young calves. Views here are breathtaking out across sea cliffs onto the Atlantic Ocean. It says the Cage of Fields offers glimpses into life of early farming communities in Ireland stretching from the Neolithic through to the Bronze Age. But here is one ruin at Cage of Fields that has been uncovered. Here is a visitor center down at Cage of Fields. You notice it is in the shape of a pyramid. Well, let's take a look at the visitor center real quick here. Here we are overlooking the Atlantic. Swing around here. Here is the visitor center right here. I guess this is a pretty impressive place. And I think I read this was an award winning site here. Based on what? I'm not sure. Here's the visitor center, glass pyramid up on the top of it here. Pretty cool place, I guess. Here is a 4,300 year old bog pine. This is one of the first things that a Patrick Hawfield found right underneath the bog back in the 1930s. That fascinated them, led to finding the stone ruins underneath the ground here, but that is a pretty cool piece of bog pine. Patrick Caulfield in the 1930s wanted to saw through this when he uncovered it underneath the bog, tried to saw through it and he couldn't. Petrified piece of bog pine here. Now here's a story from a couple weeks ago that I found. I was gonna use this in my ancient history news video, but I thought this was well worth the individual video. Here is an area where these ancient stone walls have been partially uncovered at least. But it says, Cage of Fields, older than the Great Pyramids of Egypt. And that depends on how old you think the pyramids are. But it says, it is 27 years this week since the Cage of Fields Visitor Center was officially opened, offering the public a 5,000 years glance into the past where the remains of a Stone Age landscape was discovered in the 1930s. Here's another article I will leave below from the Irish Times, The Cage of Fields, a Mayo miracle older than the pyramids. This gentleman right here is Seamus Caulfield. His father, Patrick Caulfield, is the one who kind of noticed the importance of the site back in the 1930s. Here's Seamus Caulfield, son Declan, and his grandson here at the site. But this gentleman's work here in the 1980s really led to the vast significance of the site. Here he is near that petrified tree, which is the center point of the visitor center here. 
There is a place where the stonework lies right underneath the bog. Here's a look from inside the visitor center, overlooking the Atlantic here, pretty cool place. Here's an area where these over 5,000 year old walls have been uncovered. Here is that large petrified tree in the middle of the visitor's center here. This down here is what they call the court cairn, a large construction with individual tombs in it. Here is an area, more walls have been exposed. And then here is a large Neolithic tomb at that court cairn. And these are common in Ireland and other parts of the world coming from this time period. One of the websites I'm going to leave below, it talks about a little controversy as far as some of the dating here. Some people have questioned it, but as far as the eye test, does this look five, 6,000 years old? Well, I have no problem with that at all. It should also be pointed out that a few miles to the east here, there is this point, pretty famous site out here. This is called Down Patrick Head here. Let's take a look here, a few sites out here. Here is a look at Down Patrick Head. You notice a few circular features up on top here. We'll take a look at one of them. There is also some Neolithic tombs, some barrels right on top of this feature right here. Down Patrick Head, as it is called, but this place is pretty famous. It says, this is a place, according to legend, that St. Patrick banished all snakes from Ireland. The Sea Stack, Dunbar Estate, the Broken Fort, has an ancient habitation site on its summit. And you can just barely make them out right here and right here. Here's that site, Down Patrick Head, as it is called out here. Here is that sea stack with the tombs on top of it. But if you just look here, there is a pretty good size henge, pretty good size monument right down here. Here is that large circular henge, probably connected to the same people who were building the walls at Cage of Fields. This is a pretty large circular feature here, very large henge. And it looks like it is centered on an opening here, a sinkhole or something going down, probably to the shore of the ocean here. There is that large circular hinge from overhead. There are other circular features in this on this point here. You notice a few of them right down here. Not sure if those are mounds or just kind of circular hinges, but this is a pretty cool place to look around on Google Earth. Now, I found this information. This answered an earlier question. It says, in March 2018, the Cage of Fields on the Wild Atlantic Way was awarded the prestigious Carlos Scarpa International Landscape Award for Gardens. Each year, the Carlos Scarpa Prize for Gardens is awarded to attract attention to a site which is particularly rich, in natural, historical, and creative values. That is a video on the Cage of Fields about 90 years ago at Patrick Caulfield. Noticed unusual formations beneath the peat bog here on top of this cliff hillside here above the Atlantic Ocean. And his son took over the research in the 1980s, mapped out an extensive field of ancient ruins here, probably going back about five or 6,000 years. I just thought this was a very cool story. Took a sharp eye about 90 years ago to suspect this hillside had ancient ruins beneath the layer of bog here. This is what it looks like, but a lot of these ruins still lay underneath the bog today. Just peel back a layer of earth and a whole different period of time becomes evident. Some of these stones appear very, very large. Stone circles, different types of ruins, walls that go for a long, long way, many of them. Neolithic tombs, this is a pretty cool story. Glad to share it today. That is a video on the Cage of Fields, also down Patrick Head right nearby. I thought that was a pretty fascinating story. And figuring out ancient history, be as thorough as possible, look into as many different places and time periods as you can. Helps you form your basis of your opinions on ancient history. That's ancient Ireland. Hope you thought that was cool. And you all have a very nice day.